Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Today is a very special day. Why is it so really? special, Jay? It is special because the man, the myth, the legend, the legend <laughs> is 75 years old. Happy birthday, <laughs> Uncle Si. I appreciate that. And now you're the same age as me. Si, you're going to have to make Miss K speak into the mic and hold it for her like Johnny D does oh, for she you. Gets straight. Now, look, <clears throat> I'm 75 myself, so he's the same age as me. So I, I think... Uh, Wait a minute, how can that be? I don't know. You was one year ahead of me in school. Yeah, well, you must have been slow. You was behind me. <laughs> well, I've always been slow. Well, I'm slow, too, so it's okay. He just caught up. <laughs> I've got a lot of good characteristics, but uh, educational ones are not it. <laughs> but that I'd rather have a lot more common sense. Well, you got plenty of that, Miss Kay. I do. I, I, I can vouch for that. And I can cook. Real good. I was just thinking I had a, I had an educational speech with a, a man that's got a doctorate degree. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that was at the uh, Pilots for Patients. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was a good event. Uh, si, it was a good event. So si I did a special event for Pilots They for actually patients. flew me down to Houston. Mm. Yep. Okay, free of charge. That's right, for your uh, lung surgery. For lungs, yep. yep. Well, that was nice. That's a good deal. Well, that yeah. was really good. Had a lot of good. Had a lot of people show up, and the pilots, a bunch of them, got like two hundred mission pins, three hundred mission pins, four hundred mission pins. Them boys stay in the air a lot. Mm, they're doing a good deed, that's for uh, sure. Oh no, they are. They're doing the first two commands of God: love the Almighty with everything you got, and then go horizontal and love your fellow man as a, as yourself. Well, on this special day. We want to let you know how much we appreciate you and what all have you done for other people. And I think this podcast, it would be a good idea for everybody to share their favorite Uncle Si story. Woo. There's a lot of them, I there's know. A, hey, there's a lot of people in here, Si. Look at that wall over there. Well, no, no. <laughs> when everybody started the door open, it was like a, like a, they left the gate open. All the horses are fixed to get loose, boys. Well, I'll tell what story. <laughs> Okay. When me and Phil were dating, and Phil said we had to go get the, you remember we had to get all those little baby fish to go on the trot line or whatever we were doing, so he assigned me and you to do that. In the me and Kay was the saners. Yeah. Twenty foot sane. Well, and, it, oh, and look, we're looking out there, and I look. had shorts on. Thank you. <laughs> I know, but I got to tell you, we looked out there. And Phil said, "Y'all grab the thing and get out there and, and look." All you can see is snake heads in the water on that pond. Young Kay said, wait a minute, Phil. I, 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 said, like Some, I said, something's touching my leg. And he said, it ain't nothing, a little baby fish or something. I said, I don't know. And he said, y'all hurry up. You and Sarah are holding me up. That's right. Get it on the bank. I mean, it don't matter if we get bit or nothing as long as we got that bait <laughs> in that net. Right, Sarah? Si? Yep. And I said, this is not right. So, I'm your girlfriend. So not your slave. Y'all, what, what are you talking about? Y'all had a... a, a it's a 20-foot... Okay, uh, go ahead. Plane. Okay. Okay, it's like four foot deep. And y'all are dragging it. And we're dragging it. We done one around the pond, you know, and are coming toward the bank. And I wasn't even strong. You know, and, and Kay said, Something, something's wrapping around my leg, something, you know. I and did. Phil said, oh, don't worry about it. It's probably fish. You know, get it, on, get it up on the bank. We got to get... Hurry up. Y'all got to hurry up. We come out. Hey, yeah, it was... It was it was a fish, right? Yeah, I said, well, that wouldn't hey, even. Just in the middle of the, in the, middle of the same big Congo. That's what was around her leg. Yeah, and guess what? He said, it's not poison. I said, well, I would have had a heart attack if I know that was a snake. He on lied my leg. to you. Well, of course he it lied. It was poison. <laughs> well, he sure oh, did. Because it was a cotton mouth. Ooh, speaking of, Phil got in the boat with one the other day. Oh, no. I, I'm, surpri- I'm shocked. That he had not Okay, no, no, that none of us ever got bit. <clears throat> So uh, is that the end of the story? That was the end of the story. He, we got on the bank, and the thing's full of fish. But it was all full, so full of cottonmouth about big as my bicep. The non-poisonous mm. snake four, he four lied foot about. Long, one of them stump tails. Ooh. He had like that. Yeah, mm. And he just, yeah. That's old Jim. That, that was him, too. So, Miss Kay, let me ask you this. Did Cy go with you and Phil on all y'all's dates? A lot hey, of I was their chaperone. Oh, my goodness. Mama said, hey, Phil comes home and says, I got a date tonight. <laughs> First thing out of Mama's mouth was, take your brother with you. <laughs> and he said, 
Mama, I'm going on a date with a girl. She said, I know. Take your brother with you. So it was your so, job. Hey, we at the we at the, the joint where all the kids hang out, you know. Dairy Queen or whatever the name it was, yo. It was a homemade. Homemade. Well anyway, they kept everybody that kept coming up there would say, Who's that in the back seat? And Phil said, Oh, don't worry about that. That's our younger brother. <laughs> yeah, and who paid for everything? So I tell them that. Hey. Well, you hey, you was rich, Kay. You had a car. And a I, store. I, obviously, I had money, too, or somebody <laughs> would have paid hey, for our why, stuff hey. at the homemade. Hey, look, the boy got two degrees. He ain't stupid. He well, could have yeah, dated a, wo- a woman with no no money, no car, and all that. Yeah. He chose you, Kay. You had the money, the car. Uh-huh. She was the wheel. She was the wheel wheel lady. I know. It. That's how she I dropped us off when we was on our wood duck roost runs. She'd drop us off. We'd shoot the woodies on the roost. Then she would pick them up you later. You know what I called it? Driving the getaway car. Hey, she I was. mean, I could have robbed the man. bank. Y'all could have robbed woman. the bank, and I drove a getaway car. What's that? Uh, what was it? What was it, Kay? What, my car? Yeah. It was a 1962 Chevrolet Bel Air. Bel Air. Ooh, 62. Blue. Two blue, blue Bel Air. That was a good year. Every time she'd come down, she'd bring us a case of Cokes, which we'd drink in about 30 minutes. It's so stupid. <laughs> and they, they didn't let them get cold. They drank hot uh, Cokes. Hey. Hey, then we'd have a belcher contest. Yeah. <laughs> And anything else I could sneak out of our store. That's right. Oh, that's huge. I was feeding the whole family before it was over. Well, there's so many memories <coughs> that we've had over the years. That y'all said that I actually stuck a fork in your hand when you tried to grab the last piece of Yeah, chicken. well, thank you. That was so rude. <laughs> you stuck a fork in her hand? She that's said what, I did. Yeah, you did. You almost <laughs> cut my finger. Well, you shouldn't have grabbed the last piece of chicken. It wasn't even the last piece. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was the last. Said, no, it was the you last said thigh. I called for that piece. That piece. Hey, it was the last thigh. I never. Well, I was going for it, and then you called for it. My my fork was sitting almost on it, and then you called for it. I know dubs though. If you dubs, hey, if you call for it, you got it. You got to drop. You got to back off. No, you just mm. stuck your <laughs> fork almost in my hand. I'm believing Kay on this one. Well, I, I don't. Uh, I don't have a favorite. Because they're all really good memories. Even the ones that, that there was some friction involved, like the infamous 100 Mallards coming in the decoys that Cy flared off. I'll never forget that one. Me and my namesake actually <laughs> like to come to. Oh, yeah. The grand old art of. And you was in good enough shape out. back then, you probably could have took him. Oh, I, I was, I'm positive I took him. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about Jace. Yeah. You know, shocker, shocker so, there. So what Remember happened? that, Kay? You were there. Remember that day that Phil gathered everybody out in the yard? and That was the funniest part of it. And I thought he was going to try to calm everybody down. But oh, no. No, he proceeded to chew everybody's butt that? because they got out of the duck blind too early. And then 100 Mallers tried to come in the hole. and. What, did that do any good? No. No, so yeah, Jason good. Robinson. Here's what was the bad part: he didn't kill but one, and he killed him at like one fifty. <laughs> and I, I said, "Hey, look, there was thirty five mallards, you know, sixty yards from me. You should have raised them. Just hit bump, 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 and killed three. But one of my favorite, most favorite memory that makes me laugh every time I think about it: John was there. Godwin was there. We were fishing. You remember this, John? And we pulled up on that breast top. And I said, there's about 100 on that brush top. John would throw out, he'd catch a fish. Si would throw out, reel in, nothing. John would throw, catch a fish. Si would throw, nothing. That's the reason. It, now, you got to look at this. It happened 18 times. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to look at this. Okay. How we called 18 don't, fish. I'll cover him, sir. And Cy si said, I'm doing the same thing. Cy si said, I'm doing the same thing you I'm are. I'm reeling my bait. The same. He's got the same uh, bait. I got the same bait. Look, our lines are like this. <laughs> I'm I'm looking, I'm looking like he's real. I'm really just like you. It's boom. John sets the hook, reels him in, pound the high. I reel it in. Nope. He strapped me 18 to 1. Yep. I caught one crappie. Yeah, I was done put 18 in the boat. <laughs> I said, hey, boys. I said, let's go ahead and load up and go to the house. And they said, what are you talking about? I said, I've had enough of this butt strapping. Well, so I got I got to admit something to you that day. We didn't put a hook on your jig. 
Too bad you're on the show. Hello, again. <laughs> Too bad you're right here and can't get out. Okay. Now, <laughs> now it's all coming to, <laughs> coming to. I can't even think of the word, boys. Yep. All right, well, yeah. let's take a break and we'll I'm let Philip. Let's make take a break sense. and let's let Philip tell his story next. Right. Oh, I got a good one. And Martin. Yeah, buddy. How are those persimmon trees growing? They're growing good. They actually have little buds on them. So I'm hoping mm. that the boys get to m- watch the miracle of life in a Would tree. Would you say that they're growing fast? They are not growing slow. So they're growing fast. There you go. I think so. Where'd you I get think them? the name Fast Growing Trees could not be more appropriate. And FastGrowingTrees.com, baby. There it is. Look, I think... That if you are wondering, you know, like, hey, I got this neighbor, but I can't afford a fence. You know what you can afford? A tree. I got a tree. It's yeah. going right up. Sorry, Morgan and Austin, but I don't want to look at your pool. Fastgrowingtrees.com. Maple there you tree. go. Look, if you want maples, you want evergreens, you want persimmons, you want fruits, you want, you name it, they got it. The cool thing is, is if you get on there, you can like put in your area and they'll give you a selection of trees that, that grow in your area. We got a banana tree. There you go. It's, oh, I banana can't wait. Tree? Oh, yeah, they got and strawberry plants. Look, them bananas I have an orchard, son. Them bananas grow here. That's how we got fire ants. So that's a cool thing. Look, they did their homework. Everything's good. I use fast growing trees before they were even a sponsor of this because I needed a tree that would grow fast and have lots of leaves. So I got a maple tree. It was super cheap, great price. Got to my house super quick. I love Look, it. You can shop plants by state, use a plant finder, just answer a few quick questions about where you live and what you're looking for, and they'll recommend the best options for you. And you know what? I think it's pretty cool. I went super nerd mode on there and started just seeing what all they had. And, uh, yeah, they got they got stuff I ain't ever even heard of. So um, I know Allison done got y'all's looking like a greenhouse over there. Oh, so. we got plants everywhere. Bro. Yeah, yeah. They said, here, get some of these. And then she said, well, I'll take 10 more of those too. But you don't have to wait in long lines. You don't have to haul heavy plants around. With FastGrowingTrees.com, you can order online. Your plants arrive at your door in just a few days. And with the Fast Growing Trees 30-Day Alive and Thrive Guarantee, you know everything will look great fresh out of the box. Look, you can join over 1.5 million happy Fast Growing Trees customers. Go to fastgrowingtrees.com slash duck right now to get 15% off your entire order. Get 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash duck. So is that really true what Stone was saying about God on catching all them fish and you couldn't Yeah, but them? I don't think they done what they said. I don't think they cut the hook off. What was it? Use the air? I don't know. I, I didn't get the bite. You had to have a seven count. You I, I it out there and reeling really it back. You no, wouldn't even let it get down like, there. It's one of them deals that, hey, one of the, you know, sometimes the, you're the windshield and other times you're the bug. I was mm. the bug that day. <laughs> the impatient bug. I got I got strapped. It was a light bite. You had to really feel them. They was hitting it light. Well, hey, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. You had to have to feel. So, Si, um, it was probably – 11 or 12 years ago when when we started hanging out and running together my favorite story is is when i had a men's bible group at my class at my house right across from john uh, godwin was there and all the all the boys were there and they told me about Cy and they said you know all these stories he's crazy and i believed all of them and he is it's crazy true. but they told me he couldn't hear very good but but he could read lips you know and then they told me that he could, they told me that, that no, they told him that, that I couldn't hear either, so he had to get really close to me. So the first time we all got together in the men's Bible group or whatever, he started hollering at me and grabbing me and looking me in the face and He screaming. kept trying to turn away from me. <laughs> yeah, well, you were right up in my face. Well, hey, I, I, you know, they told you I read lips. Yeah. So you know, and he kept trying to turn away from me where I couldn't read his lips. You know, so look, this goes on for like 30 minutes. We're screaming at each other. Oh, God. And he'd try to turn away from me, and I'd grab him, and tell him, I said, hey. You know, he's looking at me like, have you lost your mind? So they yeah. finally couldn't take it. They'd been doing it for 30 minutes, and then they couldn't take it, so they started laughing. And I looked, and I said, I said, are you deaf? He said, no. He said, can you read lips? I said, No. <laughs> <laughs> so i knew right then i said you know what this We've old boy had, boys. he's crazy but so i've enjoyed running running the roads with you for the last 10 or 12 years and it's always been a pleasure and the most that the thing that i appreciate about you we pull some good pranks on you during your birthday oh yeah uh but i appreciate how you always share jesus with people 
you never back down, and I appreciate that. And people listen, they see that, and they need to be inspired by people like you. So I appreciate you, and happy birthday. And I'm going to bring my good buddy John Godwin, I mean uh, Martin, in here. Uh-oh. Come on, Martin. Uh-oh. And Y'all you're on. Talking. Don't let me interrupt. You. And you're on. No, that's that's kind of what I was going to say. It's uh, what I've learned from you over the years is your boldness. You've taught me to be bold. To, to well, you know, be able what's to funny about this is that my childhood, okay, that's why oh I went. Oh, my gosh, I was well, with part of that. <laughs> well, no, no, that's why I'm involved with Homes of Hope, okay, is because my childhood is, is my, you know, if I could go back, if, like, the world was coming to an end, we had a time machine and I could choose anywhere to go back to, it would be my childhood. Wouldn't even be no thought involved. I'd just say, hey, set it for about 60s, 1960s. Yeah, that's when I oh, came into your life, hold too. On. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, is it true? You got to think about it. This woman you got- not only put up with Phil Robertson, okay, <laughs> But she's had to put up with Cy Robertson, too, because everywhere they went, I went. Package deal. And yeah. tell them you introduced me as your sister, hey, didn't you? Well, no, no. Well, He said, well, she's just like my sister. Right. I mean, how old since, was he? Hey, she was 14. And you were 12. Yeah. 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 Is it true that Phil and Tommy got you to plant golf balls because you said they told you they'd turn into baseball, they'd oh. grow into baseball. <laughs> I don't know if it's my, true or not, but I've heard that sibling, story enough. To <laughs> my siblings have told so many stories. Like Phil said, I didn't wear clothes until I was 14. Mm. I heard that. Now, I wasn't. Well, I will tell you, you you got up out of bed and walked in there in your underwear. I said, Si, you're you're grown. Quit doing that in front of me. I'm not I'm not your real sister, and I'm I'm here to see Phil. Quit walking around your underwear. Hey, you didn't want to have lust in yeah, your eyes, no, did you, Kay? No, no, but yeah, she did t- something. T- the thin era. man, the thin man, I mean. Did he have that hump on his back then? Yeah, I've always had bad posture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, I mean, he was in his. Hey, I said, I've always had bad posture. He was in his tiny whities, but it just looked like a stick with arms and legs. But <laughs> I'm impressed they were white. He walks outside. <laughs> He just walks outside. I said, what is wrong with him? Phil said, oh, he's probably still asleep. I can't say nothing. Brittany get on me every day for taking a leak outside. I'm like, hey. Okay, that's Phil, what, Phil Robertson. They don't well, know. I mean, it's freeing. They don't understand know? that. Yeah, I that's used to do freedom. that till Paula put them cameras up. <laughs> 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 then you started facing the camera. <laughs> yeah, I think Phil don't know we have cameras at our house either. I can tell you right now, Phil knew <laughs> we had cameras care. in them duck blinds, no, and he, he, didn't, he didn't, care. didn't care. He didn't care. Well, I and y'all took BK uh, hunting, you know. Don't don't you put that I, evil on me now. Well, I whoever daddy. was there, and I'm saying, that's my granddaughter. What are y'all doing, just peeing behind the black blind or something? Because, I mean, you know. No, Phil goes to the corner. Oh, God. Right I'm by sure the GoPro. She knows to look somewhere else. Generally right in front of the <laughs> GoPro right, right in the corner. Right in front of the GoPro. That's the waterproof GoPro <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, I've, we've got so many clips of phil robertson taking a leak it's not even funny that's just he don't care no he don't and i can appreciate that he does it in his yard too i imagine shirley riley our neighbor's got plenty to look at if she wanted to there you go well size 75 huh 75 and so when you turn 75 that gives you permission to wear your face on your shirt and i like that that looks good oh, he's just staying alive he's company. He's on this. He said it to me. okay Okay. I like it. I thought it was John for Tra- Travolta. Is that what his name yeah. is? Yeah, Travolta. Travolta. Close enough. Travolta. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. But it's the Bee Gees, huh? Put your mic back. Yeah, put your mic back by your face. That way we can all hear you. I just know. Oh, well, I to put it back. There you go. I took a, a, swig, a swig of tea. A swig of tea, boys. He got, he got a little into storytelling. But um, now when we're, well, we're on that road, the thing that I appreciate the most about Cy and probably one of the things I learned from him the most, have you ever seen the man have a bad day? No. He wakes up every day, chooses happiness, chooses kindness, chooses joy. And me seeing that is one of the things that led me to becoming a Christian and to just choosing joy every day. Like to wake up, there's no reason to be mad. Like there's, 
And there certainly ain't no reason to harbor anger. So oh. seeing that in you every day actually helped shape my life. So oh. thank you for that. Well, like, I appreciate that's, that. But hey, look, life's too short, okay? And and you know, I've been around too many too many people that are always negative. I can't imagine that. No, oh, oh. <laughs> I, what a I, life. Can't, I can't either. Look, that's why I'm with Duck Commander. Yeah. That reason right there is the reason that I actually come to work for my brother. You're the chief. I was, I was working for a man. Okay, and here he is. He's retired from the military, got a retirement check. Okay. He runs his own company. He's He does uh, repair on houses. Mm-hmm. If he don't want to go to work, he don't have to. He's the boss. And every word out of that man's mouth was, woe is me. I said, wait a minute, dude. Hey, you own your own house. You got a paycheck coming in. You really don't have to work because the major gets a good retirement. I said, if it comes push to shove, you don't even have to work. And I said, and all you ever say is, oh, well, you're always whining. <laughs> uh, he was killing me. And I then, had to leave. I had to get away. So then you come here and became chief morale officer hey, for Duck well, Commander. I, hey, that's why the military put up with me. Because I was in charge I of morale. I wonder what happened there. <laughs> I just couldn't oh, no, hey, look, court-martialed. All the screw-ups. The charges would have never stuck. You know, all wow. the screw-ups, guess who got them? You. Me. You know, it made me feel good because I felt right with them guys. Yeah. I must have been a screw-up, too. Okay, so hey, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah. No. yeah, but anyway, he admits it. He's you know, an honest man. Yeah, he makes so the only laugh thing that you can control. At too. Okay, in this life, the only thing is you. What you can control is what you say and do. Yeah, everything yeah. else is out of your control. That's right. Appreciate that. Well, you're yeah. a servant. Yeah. Well, I, I just you know, hey, I choose to be happy. Yeah. I think that's something a lot of people don't realize. A lot of times happiness is a choice, right? It is a choice. You wake up every day, you can choose to be happy or unhappy. Hey, or and just look, miserable. Stop. It's a lot easier to be happy. Rocket man or rocket money? It's rocket money. money. Why would you? You don't need a man if you've got rocket money. That's exactly right. Sorry, you you looking for a way to save money, ain't you? Oh yeah. And we oh. all are looking for a way to save money. Our friends over at Rocket Money can help you do that by canceling unwanted subscriptions that you forgot about, you don't use anymore. All the things. Look, if you if it sounds very familiar, these are our friends, formerly known as Truebill. So yeah, remember that two years I could watch high school sports that I bought for a month. Yeah, forgot about it, paid yep. for it, still paid for, for it again. Boom! Rocket Money comes in and says, "Hey, bro, you forgot about this." It is wild when you sign up for Rocket Money and you look at it and realize just how much you spend on subscription services. Mm -hmm. You're like reality check. Yeah, you're like man. Um, I either need to start mowing grass or start canceling some of these things if and I like. They will all help them. you cancel it. They can do it. They can do it all in one place, one click. Their person cancels it for you. So that is a cool thing. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels unwanted subscriptions, monitors spending, and helps lower your bills all in one place. Over eighty percent of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. We are. We were. We still are, probably to some extent. Like that Stars app. Just to watch the one show or that free gaming trial that you never actually use. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions. And the ones you don't want to pay for, just hit cancel. Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It is that simple. Rocket Money also helps manage all your finances in one place to automatically categorize your expenses. So you can easily check your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. Three million people have used this thing. The average person saves up 720 bucks a year. Boom. $720. God, that's a lot of cricket. It's a no-brainer. A lot, a lot of, of manners. That's a lot of manners. That's of a manners, lot of boy. lot of everything. A lot of groceries. About a half a cow. That's I mean, a tank of gas. There you go. <laughs> Look, the best part about it is they got this super cool app. Boom, right there. I don't want y'all to see all my stuff, but I got the app. It gives you notifications. It lets you know what's going on with your money. You never got a question what's happening because they're gonna let you know. But you can stop throwing money away today. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. So this is from your nephew, Zach. Uncle Si. Uncle Si, what's up, brother? Big day, man. I want to tell you how much I love you and how grateful I am to be part of your family. Um, 
I think you're one of the most talented people that I've ever known in terms of humor and connecting with people. And um, you just had such an impact on the world with not just your humor, but the way you, you parlay your humor and your, your charisma and your personality um, into the proclamation of the, of the gospel. Um, and I just, man, I love that about you. I respect you a lot. Um, also know that my mom loved you dearly and you were her favorite brother. Of course, you already know that. Um, so I just, you've always had a special place in my heart because you had a special place in my mom's heart too. So I love you, man. Happy birthday. And I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Um, I wish I could have been there to be with you guys. Love you, man. Well, we almost forgot one of Sai's best friends for the for the birthday party, and it's uh, none other than Joe Burrow. No, I'm kidding. I just see the LSU National <laughs> Champion shirt. It's BK. Bullfrog. It's Bailey K. You're Bullfrog. So, Sai, I'm going to give the mic to Bullfrog so she well, can wish you a good. happy birthday. Yep. That's my fishing and hunting partner. Hi, right, Bullfrog. This is when you talk. Hi, <laughs> right, Bullfrog. <laughs> You, you got, got a, the you got the mic. You got a bunch of memories with Uncle Si. Which one is your favorite one? When we were fishing, and we caught fish at the same time, and mine was this big. Oh. And Uncle Si's was this big. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what she's telling y'all is, look, my bass probably was eight inches long and didn't even. Maybe a, a quarter of a pound. Hers weighed about six and a half. Okay. So she strapped it on me. Well, Bullfrog, you just made a modern-day miracle happen. You had Uncle Cy tell a true fishing story. So yeah. that's all. Yeah. That. Boy, right. Right. We don't get many of those. So. 95% of true. And the picture that I got from that, I took a picture of that exact moment. Yeah. That is one of the best pictures. Yeah, I know. I know which one you're talking about because Bailey got that one. She out here just barely can hold up. And oh, yeah. back there with this one just yeah. smiling like. Oh, and, and both of them had the biggest yeah. grin on their face. It, it's a great picture. That is good. Well, I got a couple of things I need to tell people. Okay? All right, go ahead. BK, how would you pronounce that man's name? Danny. We don't need to say their last name. Danny, thank you. Thank, yep. you, thank you for the pins that you sent us. There you go. Okay, and then someone else. Lisa with a Y, our okay. friend from Tennessee. She sends us yep. mail often. Yep. She sent us me a birthday gift with a card. There any money in it? Whoop. I don't know. I'm One you endless possibilities. However, this year unfolds. If anything's like you, it's going to be a basic. Happy birthday. And it's Lisa. That's all we know. Okay. And then what is it in here? What'd you get? Okay. Is that a stogie? Oh, no, never mind. Following that, Jesus is my cardio. I like it. There's that. some kind of shirt. That ain't the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way Sai opens presents. No, no, hey. Nap commander. There you go. <laughs> 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 That's a good one, boys. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you out there, Lisa. Hold it. There's another one in here, too. Uh oh. All right, nap. I'm not sleeping. I'm just resting my eyes. There you go. I like that first one. That first yep. one was as yep. genuine That's of a laugh right. as you're going to get from Cy for a All present. Right. So, thank you very much, darling. There you go. Appreciate it, Lisa with the Y. But Lisa with the Y. So, Cy Bullfrog told her favorite memory. What's your favorite mini memory of running around with Bullfrog? When I watched her shoot her first deer. There you go. Okay, we're sitting there, and my well, deer hey, quit, quit crinkling that paper. Which Please. is a which is a hotel. And uh, we're sitting there, and it's right at daylight, and it's a doe under the corn feeder. And her dad asked her, said, well, you going to wait on a buck, or are you going to shoot this doe? We need some deer meat. It took her about two seconds to tell her, I'm going to shoot the doe. And that was the first deer. No, no, and that was her first deer, and it was, hey, it was, just dropped the doe. You know, she puts the gun on safety, sets it down, and then, does this, sits back in her chair. No smile, no being stoned or high-fiving. She's no worried. Just tell me, okay, we can go to the house now. I'm done. <laughs> mm. I've done what I'm supposed to do. So well, she, that was a good memory. She uh, takes that line, act like you've been there before, to heart. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, hey. He's the only one that does it around here. Yeah, no hooping, no hollering. That's good. <laughs> Ain't no hooping and hollering, boys. I like that. I wonder where she got that from. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder. Bullfrog, did you help your mom make Sai's birthday cake? I'm sure you did, didn't you? 
Uh-oh. It was a good one, but she didn't. BK, you need to tell her. Uh-oh. Put a little more. Uh, What's that you put in your case? Vanilla, vanilla, bourbon vanilla extract in it. Bourbon vanilla extract. BK made me one, and hey, she, she put one scoop in, and then she said, let's just see, let's put another one. And I told her, I said, whatever you did with that one, do it every time. So what you're saying is Bullfrog's cake's better than It mine. was better than Nan's. Uh-oh. But yours was, this one was real good, Nan, because it was perfect on the, you know, it was, wasn't dry. Everything was good but the taste? Well, it could have stood a little more bourbon and vanilla extract. <laughs> hey, Robinson's going to take their food, boy. Hey, don't tell your mom, Uncle Si's that. That's right, don't tell her. Don't tell her. Nan, just for the record, I didn't say none of that. Ooh. Right, no, hey, that's right. Don't I'm not, you don't think I ain't breaking my peanut butter pie train. Hey. You done, hey, you, you done lost your mind, <laughs> but, um. Anyway, well, we wanted to make sure we snuck Bullfrog in here because we know that y'all got a lot of memories together. So, Bullfrog, you you could kind of yell it at him or something if you want to. It's up to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Well, I thank you. <laughs> I love Happy it. Happy birthday. Well, all right. All right. We'll be back right after this. That's it. All right. We're back. Johnny D's back in the house. I kind of like sitting over we there. We have a live studio audience. So if y'all hear some stuff, if the audio is a little weird this time and you hear laughing in the background, we have a live studio audience. We're going to get everybody from over there into here. So we're just trying to piecemeal it together right now. So we're just that, so that y'all know what's going on. Swapping seats, talking about stuff. And we this didn't, we didn't pay, pay them to come either. Huh? We didn't pay them to come, did we? A yep. little. You didn't get your check? No, I'm sorry. It must be in the mail. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I know this is a free bonus, but I like the people, so it's fun. <laughs> Golly, I love you. Come back on your birthday. This is going to be so much fun. <sighs> Except you're going to be in charge of making your own cake. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Right. <laughs> Ask me what? What? This is this is this is still three days early for my birthday, but today's date is Phil's birthday. It oh is. yeah, and four. guess what? <laughs> and guess what we're doing at the house? Nothing, because <laughs> he didn't like to recognize the birthday. Well, why didn't he come up here? We could have celebrated oh, him. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that would have worked. <laughs> yeah. He would have been interested. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have missed a day going to his land. <laughs> hey, I can't. There's nothing going on. I can't hate him at seventy-seven. Amen. Yeah. What, what he's earned it. What a life. That's it. Do what you want to do. So I've got a pretty good side story, Go but ahead. it's not really a side story as much as it is a side lifestyle, because it's what you've just always done. Uh, and I was sitting over there, and y'all were talking about the boldness and the joy. And I remember, and this is you know, fifteen years before Duck Dynasty, I was just a little kid in church, and they dismiss the kids after like the singing to go up to kids church or whatever, and they'd sing a song. He's laughing. And so I would, I, my parents sat kind of front left and Cy si sat kind of back left, but on the aisle and I'd have to walk past him and they'd be singing a song and there was not a human being, and there ain't no instruments, this is all singing. There's not one human being in there singing louder and it, look, you're a karaoke star, but you kind of off tune a little and he would be stomping just as oh. hard as he could singing to Jesus, the Lord and worshiping. And I was always like, that dude's crazy. But that joyful noise part, he's got it down. I, yeah. took, I took that to heart. And that's what I always remember about Cy is just him. And in case you're wondering, has he always been like that? Like, he's always been bold. He's always been happy. But you know what? <laughs> and I, I unless you're a forget. visitor, there's nobody right in front of him or right behind him. No, <laughs> right I, said, I said even with him. I sat on the same row as him. I just moved down a little bit. But I always sat there for the show because I knew – he was going to be like, oh, no. they needed him up front on the worship team because he was worshiping harder than anybody in the room. In the room. I, y'all remember me? Look, I, I'm sitting there and, and the worship team is singing some good ones that I really like. Like, it is well with my soul. Yeah. That was one. When they get on that one. It is well. When they get on that one. But anyway, there's, there's a new person and she come and got right in front of me. How long she make it? No, no. She kept, <laughs> yo, she kept doing this. You know, and I, all that happened was when she'd do it, I'd get louder. So finally, I think it was Kim Stevens finally went down there and said, Darling, you probably need to get up and move either behind him or about 10 pews down in front toward the front because they're fixing to sing three of his favorite songs. And he ain't going to get nothing but get down and get louder. Louder and louder. So finally, she just helped her up. and They went back behind me. Yeah, man, I hear I go. 
fantastic. Because I, I took it to heart. No, you did. You know, God didn't say, hey, sing in tune. No, I, I got God it. God said, hey, make a joyful noise. And you were that. Baby, I make a joyful and I make it loud. <laughs> well, look, I'm going to I'm gonna slide out of here. That hoop, whoop. I'm going to let a guest that's been on before. He hadn't been in a while. Hey. But they're back in town. So, Cy, the man that you shared fishing stories with yeah, once hey. before is in the house. So, I think we're going to. Why don't y'all tell a couple of fishing stories that have happened over right. 75 right. years? Jacob Wheeler, side on come in on here, in. Jacob. Come on up here, Jacob. In case you're wondering who side's looking at the whole time he's telling stories, <laughs> Jacob and DC are over there, and side loves telling a story. Well, he can't beat this one. I got one he cannot beat. Oh, snap. I actually, oh, snap. I, when we went to uh, uh, Ireland, I actually hooked the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Scotland. Okay. Scotland. But the big heifer broke my line. <laughs> <laughs> big dog. That's unbelievable. Now, I'll tell you, there is there is a, a, a like a Loch Ness Monster like champion up there in Lake Champlain, New York. I've actually seen him. What? I swear. It's, I mean, I, I now listen, okay. You would fit in with us. I, it's some crazy stuff. I'm, I'm not lying, okay? Like, there's the middle of the lake. It's like the weirdest little area of the lake. It's not, it just, it just, it just, out in the middle of nowhere, right? Yep. Super deep. I was down there, and this was the live, you know, live scope, and active target came yep. along. And I saw something out there, big giant boil, and I just see it go down. I, I just got a glimpse. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I still to this day think it's, I think it was like the champy. He didn't top it, but he did tight. It was Close. a big deal. So I, I think it might be, a, it, <laughs> might be a, it might be his buddy. I'm glad Martin left because he would be telling everybody how untrue that. Oh, no, don't right look. Now. When we was kids, okay, <laughs> me and Phil, Tommy, and we're stair step. Tommy is a little. Taller than Phil, than Phil, than me. Yeah. We'd go sand bait, you know, go to 12 Mile Bayou, set I, out I throw know where line. that was. We ain't got no boat, so we got to make throw line. Put a brick on the end of the line, make, you know, eight hooks, bait them up, you know, stick a willow in the bank, you know, throw it out there, you know, come run. So, look, there was a silver fish. I don't know what the stupid thing was. And big. When night would, you know, Asian dark, harp. you know, you'd hear, you'd hear, flash, you know, you'd look, and if you get to watching, you'll see just something silver would come out, splash. I never figured out what it was. But, I mean, hey, these things were big. Maybe the gar. I don't a know. Asian carp? Huh? Asian carp. Did gar jump? No. Too big carp. I'm talking about these things six, eight foot long. Six, eight foot long? Dolphins. Yeah. Oh. Some are. These are huge river fish. dolphins. It wasn't a sturgeon down here. Uh, well, <laughs> no, we had sturgeon. And it, sturgeon? Yeah, it could have been a sturgeon. Big giant sturgeon. Yeah, it could have been that. I didn't think about that. Ah. It could, because it, we used to when we get on a sandbar where well, the water was shallow. Yeah. And we'd just go like this with our hands. And I've caught little baby sturgeons. You've caught baby sturgeon? Yeah. In these waters? Uh, in Red River. In the Red River, you've Red caught River. baby start. I am uh, normally so with you, man. I, I'm not no, no, sure I'm about that one. Martin, you need to come in here and, uh, and Martin, you sure? biology hey, this I'm man. I, 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 is the biologist going to say there ain't no sturgeons in Red River? It's his day. It's his It's, uh, his it's day. your birthday. Hey, I, that's BS. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, watch your language. Hey, <laughs> I use it. I use just. I know. I ABC, would, boys. So hey, we went on the red but river. Hey, I'll verify that. We all used to go on the red hey, river. I've caught them in my hand. I'm telling you. Yeah. I've caught sturgeon in my hand on red river. Hey, ask Phil sometime. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, ask Phil sometime if we have caught sturgeons in red river on trot lines. Oh, not trot lines. But a uh, uh, tow line. We weren't even supposed to be on Red River. Why were you not supposed was, to be there? Because they said it was too dangerous. It had too much current. So who goes out there? Phil and Zion. We yep. lived on Red River. I know, but I'm telling you, if I'd if I'd have got, hey. gotten so much trouble, if they knew I was out there with y'all. Oh no, no. But look, Mama, when Mama would get sick of us, we just shit to get in the car. Yeah, you know, we done done something, broke something, or something, something spilled something, or something made her mad. She'd get in the car. We'd get in the car. She'd drive us 15 miles up river, let us out on the levee, and say, okay, I don't want to see any of you till dark, <laughs> till supper time. Uh -uh. So, hey, we'd just go to the Red River, push us, find us a log floating, you know, push it off, get on it, float down. Dangerous. You know, Catching sturgeon. Oh, no. yes. That's why my childhood, was, hey, oh, Tom Sawyer and, and Uncle Jim, hey, man, I did that. 
<laughs> I ain't had nothing on me. All right, so I've we've you, done all that. If you had a tip for a Bash Pro, we have two Bash Pros, myself and Dustin got in this room. What would that tip be, just in general? We got we got to work on on, on getting better. Mm. Top secret tip, size tip of the week. Secret tip, Godwin said it. You got you got to have a feel for it. You got to have a feel for it. You got to have you a work on that. I hope you've developed that, Jacob, at this I, juncture. I, if you're no, trying no, no, to no, learn. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm serious. People you want to think about it, like worm fishing? Yes. Worm fishing, Classic. all that is is, hey, feel. you got to have a sensitive touch, your equipment, okay? Yep. You know, a, a sensitive tip rod is deadly important. So it really acts oh, as hey, uh, key. No, look, is key. A crappie, I'll give you an example. Crappie. You're fishing. Oh, cane. Cane pole with cork. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> she said thank you. You know, hey, the cork, you, you know, That's it's, what up, I fish it's with. upright. It just lays down. You ain't uh -huh. paying attention. It just lays down. Well, what he did was, hey, that crappie just come up and he actually, he come up. He's got the bait in his mouth, and it's come up, the cork laid over. Just go ahead and set the hook on him. That's it. Cause, hey, you didn't, you didn't feel him. You're right. Oh, that's, no, you're right. You're right. You, you had you to didn't feel attention. him. I, 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 I've literally, the first day I've ever, actually, three to three weeks ago, I caught my first crappie on a cane pole. I never perched jerk, and I never did that before. And, yeah. I, I, and I was like, and there is a little bit, there's, oh, no. a, there's an art to it. There's an art to it. Oh, no, no, because that's like, okay, you got one in 14-foot, uh, Fly rod type deal. Yeah, you got a little small one thirty second jig on it. You're you're fishing eight foot deep. Crappie does the same thing as that. You look in the line straight. The line starts to move a little bit. Just it just moves just a little bit. He's come from the bottom and he's he's already got it in his mouth, but he's he's up a foot. You didn't feel it. Yeah, you didn't hear. You know when they hit it. Boom. Yeah, okay, I got it. You know, you know that. But there's times that hey, you you got to have sensitive feeling in it. Okay. Well, remember when you were a little boy and were so poor, and whose camp did you go fishing at? Hey. And got boats. Your daddy. Everything. He rose. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Well, how biggest you... bass ever I lost uh, is one of them. One or two. I think that's I lost one, one of the... at, at at that your camp, your father's camp. I know. And didn't you and, Phil, you and Phil, I think that's why Phil liked me more when he found out I had well, a hey, camp. Yeah, your dad was outdoors. And that your, Phil yeah. didn't get to know your dad much, did he? No, because my dad passed yeah. away when I was 14. But yeah. you sure loved the camp and the boats oh, and yeah. the motors and the everything. Yeah. I mean, we had a blast down there, but who never wanted to leave? I don't even know if we take a break now. We'll take a break. But all I know is this, Wheeler. If you win this whole thing down here this weekend, it's because the sound advice you just received. Well, I thought that. <laughs> Happy birthday, Cy. You, you, oh, hey, you're an icon. I, well, we're not going to take a break, but we're going to get yeah. Dustin in here because he needs some. No, oh, no, you're staying. Hey. You're staying. I'm going to take it. I'm going to hop out, and hey. we're going to just keep with the fishing. That's story. my advice, though. Sensitivity. 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 Learn, oh, Dustin's, Dustin's learn to have that feel. <laughs> the natural feel, boy. The all right. All right. All right. Y'all are fishing. Uh, what's up, Buzzy? So we're fishing Bussy, so this is how it works. So this is how our tournament works. We have $25,000. So if you catch big fish in the tournament for one, for, for the first round, it's 25000 For the second round, it's 50000 And then yeah, The big fish? The big fish. And then on, on Bussy, on the championship day, it's 100000 for first place. It's 100000 for the big fish. So there's uh, two, you can win $275,000 as one, one angler. Mm. It's all about big fish. Big yeah. money. I think it's hey, all about money. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> money. Here's some other advice. No, no. Here's some. Here's some. No, no. <laughs> we was all waiting. Hey, I got some more advice for you. Oh, here we go. Okay. A uh, devil horse. All right. The, the big one. The big one. The big one. Okay. And, and if you got it, go buy you some uh, bigger treble hooks. I'm serious. Now, now, the hooks that are on it are too little. Go buy you a size. Go be, buy you a silver. size bigger, and put them on there. Okay. Hey, you know what's up. Hey, that is know, I'm deal. serious. And hey, in early, early in the morning, morning, not at daylight. 
Fish that devil whore. Afternoon, late in the evening, fish that devil whore. Have you ever seen a glide bait? Glide bait? No. I probably have, but, uh, you know. A lot of them are, like, this big. They look like a fish. Okay. No, no, because I've seen, I've seen what you're talking about. It was it was a trout. Yeah, it's speckled, like, yeah. A speckled, exactly. yep. speckled trout. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That, that and look, it was one foot long. Big one. Yes. You know, they fish one in Cali- I fish them on them California yes. lakes. Yes, that's what they Huge. catch them on this week. A pound, it's like a pound. Uh, uh, what is a stupid thing? You caught one rainbow, rainbow trout. <laughs> okay, it's a one pound rainbow trout bait. You just throw it out there and start reading it back. You know, so when one hits that, oh, he's a bull. Hey, biggin. Yeah. So, so if you're hey, but the one, devil horse, I'm devil telling horse. you, that devil's horse, um, especially on Buzzy. A hundred percent. I didn't know this at the time, but I I was trying to change the hook out on one of them devil's horses. You need a screwdriver to change. Oh the no hook. no no no. Yeah oh you yeah. Need a flathead. Yeah. Hey, don't hey don't. There ain't no split rings. And you can mess it up too if you mess it around and, and and don't. You, you don't want to. You tighten him too much. Yeah. You're gonna crack the bait. Well you you hey he'll pull it out. Yeah. You better have a pull screwdriver when you yeah. throwing him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Uncle Si. Happy birthday to you. Don't you spit on my cake. I ain't spit on that cake, boy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, boy, hey. 75 and feeling fine. That's it, boy. Hey, that's it. Oh, we're Here back. We Everybody's enjoying cake. I'm going to abstain for the time being because you can't. A podcast does no good if it's dead air. So, um, I'll get on it here directly, but Anna, Stone's wife, made Si his favorite cake for his birthday, a pretty basic pound cake. I mean, overall, I, pound cake. yeah, I mean, Si is just, that's I what call, he likes. I He's call a, her Anna Banana, but you know what? She can she can whip these out. She how'd she learn this, oh, cake? Minor and frog here. Probably from me. Oh, you're so modest. You really? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is she your favorite granddaughter? I didn't say you, that. You can say it here. None of them listen, so it's one. fine. I can't. Not say, even her. I she can't won't even say know you that said on it. the air. Huh? I'm not on the air either. <laughs> but you oh, know, she she's listen. real, real, real special. There you go. She Thank does listen, Martin. She just to make sure I don't say nothing I'm not supposed to. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany doesn't. I'm thankful for that. <laughs> um, but how how is it? Size it past your test? Okay, he can't well, talk, so I guess that's a good thing. Right now, his whole piece, look at him. That's fine as frog hair, split 16 ways, boys. There and you that's go. two pieces he ate, fine. and I've ate a fourth of one. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's wasting away, Kay. Look at him. I know. He's, bless him. He's, he's going to be nothing. But, Si, look, you're not a man who likes to be celebrated. You're not overly one to do celebrations, but we just wanted to take the time. Uh, today to let you know how much you mean to us so hopefully we've done that with some laughs along the way you got to you've got to tell some of your finest stories here you got to uh you you got to give professional anglers fishing advice that's kind of cool i mean there's a lot of people would love to do that look if they listen to me and get them devil horses yeah and put that mic up next to your face oh, yeah. that'd be cool man <laughs> that way you'll get the big buck boys but don't, uh, but don't get that devil horse in your hand as i did one day it's okay. You fished a devil horse too. Well, I was trying to help Phil change the bait, you know, the thing, but I got it all mixed up in my hand. Oh. Mm. So uh, Phil said, "Just re- I use this handkerchief for that blood. We'll get through it. It'll be all right. We'll just take care of it in a little while." <laughs> Let me catch another fish. Oh, uh, that's better. I bled to death. <laughs> that's better than he did the old boy down there at his house where he I pulled. I should ask him why he was up here. What? Jacob, you ever fished California lakes? I never have. Huh? Yeah. Why, you want to go? Well, no, no, because I was just saying they catch some. Oh. They got some big ones. I'd about to say he'll probably take you. Yeah, because anybody that's using a pound bait, you know, a pound uh, speckled trout yeah. as a bait, yeah, they, they got big fish. Well, just watch the next couple of days. They're going to catch some big ones on it right around here. Uh, well, if you use that devil horse, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Back I'm on telling that. you, boy, this bunny. <laughs> Uh, I love it. Well, it probably would be. That's probably the one bait they haven't seen on Caney Lake. Well, they so. haven't seen it in 30 years. I yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that's right. Uh, I was the only man in America that could 
tell the world's greatest bass fisherman how to fish. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the and, top, he, and he sits there and listens. The top two in the world. Well, they're just yeah. being polite. Well, well you can know, hey, you know. Hey, hey, the reason is, okay, when Phil and Tommy was in at Tech at college, mm -hmm. they would they arranged their class schedule, you know, like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I think Tommy could fish. He had classes on Tuesday and Thursday. And Phil done it the other way, you know. So they was – Staying on them. They was on the lake every day. Is know? that why it took him five years to graduate, Phil? Well, they no, no, I'm just faster saying, than no, John Davis. Not really, but hey, they, you know, they're going to be fishing. <laughs> it did. I mean, because it graduating fast would mess up his fishing and hunting schedule. Hmm. So well, that his school had to work around that. Kay, did you graduate? No, I did from high school, but I, I went one summer semester and took two, two classes in. At Tech, and my teacher told me at the end that I was the nicest student he ever had, but college wasn't for me. So I said, well, you know what? We need a lot of other people out there in this world besides college-educated people, and I'll be that person. Mm -hmm. And he was so glad he didn't hurt my feelings. I didn't care. I really didn't know that. I wasn't even trying to bring up an old painful memory. That was a legit question. <laughs> well, so. it, <laughs> Because low key, hey, it kind of sounds it, like you care a little bit. No, right? I Just, didn't. Uh, I really didn't, Martin. Uh, I've been around a lot of smart people with a lot of education. Yeah, and don't mean nothing, does it? Well, if they if they can't make you laugh, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Well, you they, have that gift. I promise you that. You. Yeah, make... my granddaughter said something about it, and I said, she said, "Why are you so funny?" <laughs> and. And <laughs> what do you? What was your reply? Well, I'm, I said, I'm very you interested. Know, I used to be on a show, and it was a comedy. What do you do at watching a comedy? And she said, "You laugh." And I said, "Well, I'm still laughing," <laughs> and that's the truth. You'd be a lot better off than those old boring, griping people that somebody was talking about earlier. Yeah, love now, it. Who wants to listen to that? Uh, we... I'd rather, much rather listen to funny people. Hadn't you, Jason? Oh, yes, ma'am. Leave them laughing, boys. Well, look, Cy, si, 75, we're going to give you the mic. You've 75 years. You're one piece of wisdom to drop to all of our fans before we sign off today. The floor is yours, my friend. Probably the best advice I can give you is don't think high, more highly of yourself than you ought to. And, hey, look, trust me when I tell you this. Laughter will make you uh, live longer. True. There you go. There's you heard no it. stress. I, I'm, you ain't going to be stressed I, if you're laughing. Mm -hmm. My parents both died younger, and I've been alive 20 years more than I was supposed to if you're after your parents, you know? So uh, I'm saying I think it was because um, because I laugh and, and I don't worry about things, and I'm not – I just don't – I just want to be funny. <laughs> well, mission accomplished keep, keep on oh man i love it look yep, keep on laughing everybody in the comments wish a si happy birthday we will see y'all next time right here in the duck call room we're out happy birthday si. appreciate it happy birthday so how many days y'all gonna be on the lake <laughs>